triple E threat has driven cities and towns to cancel outdoor evening activities. But one high school just outside a high risk zone says they will be playing under the Friday night lights as scheduled. Fans are being told to wear bug spray, but some wonder if that's enough. WBZ's Bill Shields has more tonight. Whitman Hanson teams were on the field this afternoon practicing. Mosquitoes are more active after dusk, so no one was really worried. But some parents are worried about night games. You don't want them playing at night? No, I do not. Whitman Hanson High School is sandwiched between the high risk level for Tripoli e and moderate level. And the towns have protocols in place if more mosquitoes test positive for Tripoli. E. We've had it around here, but it's been found pretty far away as well. Um, so, it, it, while it's not a lot of mosquitoes, it, for each person that's impacted, it's a life changing event. Eastern equine encephalitis. It's carried by certain mosquitoes that bite humans. The disease can be fatal or cause serious neurological problems. So, some people say the school district should move all sports to daytime. Other parents aren't quite so sure. I keep it at night yeah. because these parents want to participate. You know, they're at work during the day. It is concerning that, you know, Triple E is around. If there was a threat in the area, a, you know, a definite threat, then they should change it. School and town officials say that if the Triple E threat reaches a critical level, then obviously they'll rethink the outdoor activities policy. But for now, it will remain as is, like a lot of other towns in Eastern Mass. In Whitman, I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News.